Previously on Resident Evil... It began as a simple investigation of some bizarre murders in the suburbs of Raccoon City. Nothing in our training could ever have prepared us for the nightmare that ensued. What's going on? Engine failure. Emergency landing. A train? You must be careful, Rebecca. Don't come any closer! Billy Cohen killed as many as 23 people. Who's controlling the train? She's just a rookie, a member of STARS. You're under arrest. No thanks, Dollface. Cooperate with you? Do it, girl. Or maybe you like being worm bait. Did you kill 23 people? I'm not going to judge you. I just want to know the truth. It was I who scattered the T-Virus in the mansion. Revenge on Umbrella. Attention. This is Dr. Marcus. Please be silent as we reflect upon our company motto. Obedience breeds discipline. Discipline breeds unity. Unity breeds power. Power is life. The virus is out. We can't hide this anymore. It appears Umbrella is finished. We're just gonna walk away? Our research isn't complete. We can make a more powerful virus. Do what you like. The T virus is near completion and only needs test data. That is why Stars is in place. I will bring them into the mansion. <laughs> Better get rid of this place before there are any more complications. Are you okay, Rebecca? Where is everybody? They should have arrived here before me. Haven't you seen them? That's unfortunate. If we go straight from here, we should arrive at an old mansion which Umbrella uses for research. Come on, let's go. Wait, I've got to find Billy. Billy Cohen? You mean you found that criminal? Yes, but we got separated and... No point worrying about him. He won't make it. Come on, let's go. Sir, please. I need to find him. Don't worry. I'll catch up with you. Rebecca, I... All right. Just be careful. 
I never saw him again. Rebecca, where am I? You're safe now. Are you okay? Hmm? <sighs> what could have done this? They must have been used as test subjects in Marcus's research. He must have kept messing around with the mother virus. Welcome, young one. So glad you have joined the party. You are the guests of honor. After all, it's your wake. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Dr. Marcus? No, you can't be. What's going on? <laughs> Ten years ago, Spencer had me assassinated. Research. <laughs> Wesker Birkin. However, something wondrous happened. It took the T-Virus inside of my queen years to procreate my new life. I live. Now I will have... 
have my revenge on Umbrella. And the world will burn in an inferno of hate! <laughs> You'll pay for what you've done. We'll see which one of us is gonna die! <laughs> <laughs> Might you be going, Comrade? My next mission. The reclamation of the management training facility was your mission. And now you're just going to walk away without taking responsibility for your failure. The T-Virus has escaped. I will detonate the facility and dispose of it. Comrade, don't forget who's in charge. You can't just do what you feel like. Maybe you need a little reminder. on the windows. Got it. The self-destruct system has been activated. All personnel evacuate immediately. Again.
I guess he didn't like his lesson. <laughs> Fine. We have the Talos Retrieval to take care of anyway. Everything... for Umbrella. My pursuers left behind. I regrouped with the Star's Alpha Team. There was no time for delays. Umbrella's command structure was in motion, and the real struggle was about to begin. The plans to reuse the management training facility were scrapped by Marcus's unfortunate outburst. Not only that, but the incident appeared to spread the virus to the area surrounding the mansion, causing a biohazard outbreak. It is time to abandon the sinking ship that is Umbrella. Hey. That must be the old mansion that Enrico was talking about. I guess it's time to say goodbye. Officially. Lieutenant Billy Cohen is dead. Yeah, I'm just a zombie now. Possible odds and made it out alive. Lucky, I suppose. Since the event, Billy Cohen has gone missing. While Rebecca is about to enter a new nightmare as she heads for the mansion. After splitting up with Billy, I went to the mansion where Bravo Team was to rendezvous. When I arrived, I found that none of the others were there, and the mansion was unsettlingly quiet. I was exhausted from the events of the previous day, and before I knew it, I had drifted into a nightmare. You're okay? I'm fine. We were fighting some monster, and... Edward's dead. I see. It's not much better on my end, either. We got attacked by those things, and had to split up. The rest of the team is either in hiding, or... We just have to find Enrico. He'll know what to do. <laughs> what a horrible first assignment, huh? First, we have to get to someplace safe.
Who's that? They're going into the forest. Unbelievable. I wonder what they could be up to. Let's move. Yeah. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. You're right. It's probably just us now. Help will come. I'm sure our captain is out there somewhere. So don't give up hope. Besides, I'll back you up. <laughs> and with me around, what could go wrong? that thing. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare.
up good some backup I made Richard don't make that face at me we've still gotta have hope someone will come and rescue us I, I know it how hopeless I felt, seeing Richard lying there, wounded. I had to be stronger. I had to fight. And I had to survive. No matter what happened, I'll prove I have what it takes to survive. This way. Resident. 